And so, how's it going? What's your name? Oh, Rachel. Nice to meet you. So, what brings you here? Oh, no kidding. Yeah, I actually uh, stopped here uh, before I uh, hit the gym. You hit in the gym afterwards? We could go together. Oh, this? It's my protein shake. Or as I like to call them, protein shakes, am I right? <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing arms today, so, you know, pumping the good old iron, yeah, so. Yeah, what can I say, really, uh, working it out today. What about you, you left? Come on. You go to the gym though, right? No. Well, that's unfortunate, you know? You should really try to get into the gym at some point. And, and not because, like, the way that you look at all, it just makes you feel good, you know? It's about the mind. Yeah. Anyway, I've got some nuts. What do you typically look for in a partner? Nice. Oh. I gotta say, I check off every single thing on your little checklist there. So, just remember me. What about me? What do I look for in a partner? Uh, Motivated. Goes to the gym for about five hours a day. Into crypto. I want to secure my future. All right. Uh, as a yacht. Um. And uh. Likes nuts. We don't have a yacht. That's fine. I'm sure we can work something out. Just, I see myself, you know, five to ten years from now, laying out on a nice big yacht around the deck. My nice jacked, I mean ripped body, just laying out in the sun. Nothing but me and the sea breeze. Am I right? So, what do you do for work? Hmm. Nice. Well, it's really cool hair. I hear that's pretty promising. Not like, you know, crypto promising, but promising. So, hey, you'll get there someday, I'm sure. So it looks like time's up. Well, hey, if you want to come meet me after this uh, silly little thing, I'll be at the gym pumping some iron. Alright. Hey, 
Nice meeting you. Okay, okay, I'm going. All right. That's a recurring theme throughout all of these relationships. Is that correct? Yeah. And what do you think that stems back to? Perhaps childhood trauma, just insecurities, maybe a, a fear of um, abandonment. Hmm. Interesting. Well, anyway. Uh, just some self-reflection is always good, you know, at the end of a relationship. Honestly, I think that's the best gift we are given when going through a breakup. The opportunity to self-reflect. So, I uh, do that at any opportunity. Um, now, what would you say um, your friends would describe you? Hmm. Was that a self-deprecation joke? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I see. I'm getting a little bit uh, more info about your character. No, it's good. It's good, though. It's good. It's good. We need to analyze these things. Yeah. So, well, that's, that's good. You know, it is, it is not a good idea to make self-deprecating jokes. Um, Mainly because your subconscious doesn't know that you're joking, you know? So when you say those words, your brain internalizes that and someday it's going to want to live up to whatever expectations you have set for your brain. So, you know, rather than, you know, making those self-deprecating jokes, maybe, maybe something a little bit brighter. So, rather than making a um, statement of self-deprecation, why not make one that makes you feel, you know, proud, empowered? Go ahead, give it a try. That's okay. If it doesn't feel right, it doesn't have to uh, right now. But, you know, you work on it and it'll start to feel right. So, what would you say? that stems back to. When did you start making those uh, types of jokes? Yeah. I see. That must have been very tough for you. Mm. Well, how does it make you feel today? sense because according to the DSM oh, I 
guess our time's up. All right, well, no more of those jokes there, buddy. Okay. Oh my goodness, so nice to meet you. I have been looking at you from across the room. I don't know if you saw me. <clears throat> so, what's your name? Oh, so nice to meet you. I'm Angela. What? Oh, um, yeah, um, what do I do? I work from home uh, as a professional um, house sitter of my own house. Right now I'm doing nothing, but I don't know. Who am I looking at? Nobody. Don't nobody. Literally nobody. <laughs> anyway. So what about you? Tell me about you. <laughs> oh my god, a comedian. This one's hilarious. What do you mean I'm too loud? Stop it. Okay, fine. My ex is literally right over there. Don't look now. <sighs> yeah, we broke up like two weeks ago. <sighs> no, I'm not stalking. I just happen to be going in the same direction. Yeah. And I kind of threw myself into this. So this is speed dating. Um, yeah. <sighs> Can you give me advice? What do you think I should do? <sighs> I have already tried pounding on his door. <sighs> Sorry, I have to pretend like you're really funny because my ex is looking this way. Oh my gosh. you into my dirty laundry, but yeah, I don't know, what can I say? I'm bored at home. I'm literally doing nothing all day. All I can think about is my ex. Doesn't even deserve it. So, anyway, please, I do want to know some things about you. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow.
your name? Oh, what a nice name. I love that name. My name? Well, you can just call me Mrs. Styles. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> My name is Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea. <laughs> so, what do you like to do in your free time? Oh, that's nice. I love listening to music, too. Oh, I mostly listen to Harry Styles. Um, Harry Styles? <laughs> what about you? Oh, yeah, I totally heard of them. <laughs> yeah, love their song. Well, um, oh my gosh, I heard that Harry Styles was at this restaurant last week. Like, could you imagine if, like, he just, like, walked in, like, right now? Um, I wouldn't be caught dead looking like this. Oh, well, my nails aren't done. They look so bad right now. I don't know. Maybe I just don't know I'm beautiful. And that's what makes me beautiful. <sighs> anyway, um, what do I look for in person? Well, <sighs> I really like looking for somebody who looks like Harry Styles, has like the same like kind of like body build as Harry Styles. Um, can sing well, like sing me my favorite song for bed, share my love of music, um, you know, just share things that I'm passionate about with that person. What about you? Oh, that sounds so nice. I love that. That's so cute. Well, if I'm really being honest with myself, uh, I guess I'm really just looking for somebody to occupy my time until, you know, the inevitable happens. Oh, sorry, the inevitable being, you know, when eventually Harry asks me to marry him. <laughs> so, yep. Well, I just, you know, I was like, I'm kind of bored. I should probably be doing something, maybe like, I don't know, go out with friends and stuff like that. Because usually I just kind of watch movies. Um, I'm a bit of a homebody. I like listening to my music always. Yep. So, but I was like, <sighs> maybe I should kind of get some dating experience under my belt, you know, before the inevitable. Yeah, no, I don't have any dating experience whatsoever. I've been emotionally unavailable for forever now. So, but here I am. I'm opening myself up to new opportunities, um, new possibilities. You never know, you know? And that's why I came here, just in case, you know, maybe Harry really likes this restaurant and decided to come for uh, another week. You know, two visits in a row. I know it sounds kind of like unheard of, but like, who knows, maybe this is one of his favorites. So, yeah, it just sucks that I didn't know the night that he was here, and I found out the next day. I've been at this restaurant every day since, so, but I'm proud of myself because I've been leaving the house every day. That's really good for me, you know? Good for me to get outside of the house. It's good for everybody. <sighs> I mean, a screw of vitamin D. I need some vitamin H, you know, <laughs> for Harry. <laughs> anyway, well, looks like our time is up. Well, if you see Harry, tell him where to find me. Good luck.